anthropology has revealed to us our common ancestry. The whole course of human evolution is to build a society where we're choosing to not just tolerate each other, but love and celebrate one another. After working at Tisch School of the Arts at NYU and at the Beijing Dance Academy and traveling with my students and dancers to China, Cuba, United Arab Emirates, North Korea, there was this feeling of, yes, indeed, we are interdependent and we need art forms that manifest this interdependence. If you watch starling birds move in mass over the sky, they're flying into each other and then out of each other, and yet it's almost as if they're connected. One is a one hour long piece of public art about a collective manifestation of a hundred dancers that are moving from one shape into the next. This project will push the limits of what can be done artistically with the human form. All the performers have to have immense control of their body. They have to have tremendous flexibility, and they have to be able to keep their movement while spinning in space without hearing the music. A sculpture that's dynamic, made from human forms, floating in air, with the city as a backdrop. This first time show begins with drummers from West Africa, Japan, and the USA, and evolves into extreme dancing, flexing, popping, teching, and contorting, by performers from New York and Brazil. The third act is outstanding performances with artists from the USA, China, Brazil, and Dubai, using volumetric projection, mapping, and dance, all culminating in the debut of the Dance of the Heavens, performed by 100 aerialists from 28 countries. All this happens on our own stage, seating 6,000 a night, allowing for volumetric projection, Spanning 100 feet high and 432 feet wide, this hexagonal stage is state-of-the-art and one-of-a-kind. This differs from the others in that it's not acrobatic, but it's about sculpture that's dynamic, made from human forms. Isn't the world lacking in symbols that celebrate our unity? Isn't the world lacking in symbols that celebrate mankind's magnificence? And so for me, one is a manifestation of that beauty, and it's the tribute to our collective talents, 